Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. So today I want to talk about something just a little bit different. I want to talk about the Bill of Rights. So there's a lot of information out there and a lot of misinformation being spread about what the Bill of Rights is and what the Bill of Rights is not. Unfortunately, a lot of people just don't know. Um, they just don't know what the Bill of Rights actually says. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so let's just start with a question. What is the Bill of Rights? The Bill of Rights are the first ten amendments to the Constitution as ratified by the states on December 15th, 1791. That's when they became law. December 15th, 1791. So let's go take a look at the Ten Amendments that make up the Bill of Rights. I'm not going to do a deep dive into exactly what every word in this means. Um, you're going to have to figure some of it out for yourself, but all the text is here. You'll see what it says word for word. Amendment number one. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. That's amendment number one. Amendment number two. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's amendment number two. Amendment number three. No soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. That's amendment number three. Amendment number four, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. That is amendment number four. Amendment number five. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger. Nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. That is amendment number five. Amendment number six. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witness against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. That is amendment number six. Amendment number seven. In suits at common law where the value in controversy shall exceed twenty dollars, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. That's amendment number seven. Amendment number eight. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. That's amendment number eight. Amendment number nine. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. That's Amendment number 9. 
Amendment number 10. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. That's amendment number 10. This is Muzzle First. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at muzzlefirst at gmail.com. Visit my website, www.muzzlefirst.com. You have a good day.